Hello Niagara on the Lake, Betty DeCero here. Today I want to talk to you about our budget. We passed it last week on January 31st and uh, I believe it is our road to a sustainable budget. First of all, let's talk about what that means. Sustainable budget, everybody refers to it in their own way, shape or form um, and there are different meanings for different people with respect to sustainable budget. I can tell you that as head of this corporation, for me, uh, it's very specific in terms of sustainable budget. Some people talk about giving everything to everyone uh, as a sustainable budget. That's not the case. People talk about um, stealing from Peter or one department to give money to another department to balance a budget. To me, that's also not sustainable. And people talk about a zero tax increase. Um, and year after year, zero tax increases are not sustainable. Let me explain to you what I mean by a sustainable budget um, in this administration. A sustainable budget is about balancing three things. The social econo socioeconomic part of our budget, which means people, talking to people and communicating with them about what they need and what our community needs. For example, um, we helped to uh, build the nursery school or we helped to or we did pay for a machine that will clear out our irrigation ditches from Phragmites. Now those things may not mean a lot to some people but they're very important to keeping the community working together as a whole. So finding out what those needs of the community are and working towards achieving that for them is really important. But also you have to balance that with the second pillar, and that is the environment around us. What is the impact to us when we're deciding on things with respect to climate change? What is the impact that we've had with COVID or with labor shortages or with um, wage increases or with uh, cost of living going up, like insurance or um, supply chain being low? What does all that do to us when we're trying to achieve what we want to achieve to assist our public in the things that they need to have a good community. Also, and the third point of this is what is your financial picture? And how do you juggle your revenues with what people want and with what the environment is giving to us? For example, um, we are given three tools from the province to raise money. One of the tools is through taxes. The second tool is through fees for service, like when we get charged to rent a room at the community center. The third tool they gave us is a municipal accommodation tax. I figured they knew that people were traveling more and more and that tourists should help to pay for some of the amenities that we as a municipality offer them to come to our town. So the third tool is the municipal accommodation tax. There's no others. There's no other ways. We can go to the province and the federal government and ask for money, go cap in hand, and in all fact, we are. Um, we've been putting out more and more applications for grants, but the three tools that they've given us, they will come back to us and say, use those tools. So here's what we did this year in terms of balancing those three aspects people, the environment, and finances, to try to get us on a path towards a sustainable budget. First of all, our staff looked at what sort of capital requirements we will need for our aging infrastructure. Aging infrastructure is, is been a problem for all municipalities, uh, no matter where you look. Municipalities are getting old. Their infrastructure needs to be re revitalized and regenerated. So they looked at those things and figured out how we can go through and start to look at our aging infrastructure and try to put it in a budget that is flat and not spikes different years. So we don't end up with crisis um, when it comes to dealing with our capital infrastructure. They also looked at how climate change affects our infrastructure and what we can do better to um, improve our infrastructure or upgrade our infrastructure without a big effect on climate change. 
And what they found was that, in fact, we can do things more efficiently by using the objectives set out in our Niagara adapts for climate change. What they also did this year, which was different than any other year, is they looked at the historical trend of spending. What have we been putting in our budget over the past five years or more that's not been spent? How can we, is that budget still useful? Do we need to budget that money in that account if we've not been spending it for five years? So they're looking at historical trends to try to ensure that the services we provide are still being met, but we're not putting money aside for something we don't need. So they did that. And the third thing we did this year as a council was introduced the municipal accommodation tax. So this year it starts on July 1st and it starts at 2% and it's for accommodations with rooms five or more. And we'll watch and follow it and monitor it as we do the other pillars to see where that takes us. So by increasing our revenue, we can, in terms of, of the municipal accommodation tax, what that will do is help us pay for things like bicycle lanes, public washrooms, things that really accommodate not only our residents, but our tourists that want to come here and experience everything Niagara-on-the-Lake has to offer. What it will also do is give the money that our operations department has been planning to spend and been spending on those things and allow them to deal with our aging infrastructure. So I'm pleased with the way we went about our budget this year. As I've said previously, the sustainable budget has always been elusive and eluding us. This year, we took a step in the right direction. This year, if we stay on this path for years to come, we will have a sustainable budget. It's not going to happen overnight, but I would say over the course of the next couple of years, we'll get there and we'll be able to deal with everything we need as a community to give us the amenities that we need to keep us a great place to live. So that's it, Niagara-on-the-Lake. That was our budget this year and that was a th thought process that went into it. If you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to ask or to call our communications team to find out more. Thank you for listening.